everyone, Andrea Praver here with Great Expectations Realty and today is Monday, February 14th, 2022, which means it's time for What's Up Ocala. Oh my goodness, there is so much stuff going on in and around Ocala right now with the weather being as um, nice as it is outside. It is still a little bit chilly, but, uh, well at least for us down here anyway. <laughs> For everybody up north, you're going, I really wish I could just have something in the 60s. That would be fantastic. But for us, it's a little chilly outside yet. I had my um, seat warmers on when I got in the car this morning. I think it was, I don't know, maybe about 50 degrees. And that's just ridiculous. We have had an abnormally large amount of cold days. Normally, we only have like two or three. But it's kind of been on and off again for a few weeks now, which is completely strange for us. So... Not a huge fan. I'm used to just a couple of days of maybe a jacket or something and then go back to the beautiful weather that we're used to, but that's okay. Uh, changes in, uh, in the weather make it a little more exciting out there. So we are going to talk about some of the stuff going on in and around Ocala. And there is so much because there are so many things that you can be doing um, with the weather yeah, as nice as it is, you know, throw on a jacket. You're not like going to cook outside, um, literally you, because it's so hot. It's just kind of pleasant, really. All right, so oh, what is there to do? Oh, my goodness. Uh, we have Bank Street on Monday night, so tonight. They've got karaoke and trivia nights from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, the Million Cups, uh, that's every Wednesday at 9.30 a.m., and that's over at the Power Plant Business Incubator. If you've never been over there, they call it the Power Plant because of all the ideas and everything that comes out of it. It's for newer businesses um, that are thriving or wanting to thrive. <laughs> so uh, really cool. It's, uh, it's a very unique building. If you ever go in there or if you ever get a chance to go in there, definitely um, check it out. Uh, they have a lot of you know interesting sayings on the wall and quotes and I don't know. It's just, it's very unique. Um, so pop on over there. Um, maybe go in for a million cups. Like I said, that's every Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. Now, Shalom Park, 9 a.m. on Saturdays, free to the public. There is yoga in the park. So there was a few people that were asking about some of some classes that you can take or something that you can do that's low cost. And that's, I mean, that's about as low cost as you can get is free. Um, and you don't have to do like the yoga mat. You can honestly just put a towel down or something. So it's not, it's not a big deal. This Saturday, they have that really cool event that I told you guys about before, which is the, um, Paws Ice Cream Social over at the Letty Towels Dog Park. It's a free event and it's just, I saw some of the picture that is so cute. It's just so cute. So it's a great opportunity for your dog to be a little more social, but also for you to meet some other um, dog, pet owners, puppy owners, whatever, <laughs> the furry friends <laughs> community. Uh, so that's going to be uh, this Saturday over at the Letty Towels Dog Park. Feel free to check out the information online at the um, City of Ocala Parks and Recreation that's actually on their website. Now, over at Brick City Adventure Park, which is also part of the City of Ocala Parks and Rec, um, they actually have wheels and deals. Now, can you guess for a second what that would actually be or what that would entail? Yep, you guessed it. A um, car show and yard sale mixed together. <laughs> so, so they're going to have a car show and they're going to have people that like set up basically like a booth. Um, and do the yard sale right there, which is kind of nice if you're in an area that you can't really do a yard sale um, or not very often or whatever, or maybe you just don't get that much traffic because you're out in the country or something. Uh, this might be a really good opportunity for you. This is going to be Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. So there should be some really interesting stuff for you guys to check out over there. We also have uh, let's see, Friday and Saturday at the uh, Southeast Livestock Pavilion. Oh, I can talk, right? It's probably because I was messing with my microphone so much. And now I can't, like, I was testing out like 15 times before I started on. But anyway, um, hopefully you guys will have to tell me if the sound is any better quality today. <laughs> Even if I'm just a little out of it. Anyway, okay. But the Ocala Shrine Rodeo um, is actually going to be presenting uh, Bronx Bulls and Bullfighters. 
and that's um, part of the Southeastern Youth Fair is actually presenting that as well. So I thought it was kind of cool that the Southeastern Youth Fair is actually um, a part of that. Uh, but you know, Southeastern Livestock Pavilion, if you don't know where that is, it's actually um, where they did the chili cook-off not too long ago in November. So if you went to the chili cook-off, yeah, it's over in that same, same arena, basically. It's basically an arena with stands and stuff. So, all right, now March 5th, which I know that's a ways out yet. We got a couple more weeks. What am I doing? But March 5th, the McPherson Complex is doing the Habitat for Humanity Strawberry Festival. The Ocala Strawberry Festival is so much fun and it seems to get bigger every year. So definitely something to check out. Um, they actually have a pie eating contest and honestly, I'm thinking about entering. I think I could do it. Um, it's no hands, so it's just like straight in your face. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it'd be cool, but <laughs> I've never entered like a pie eating contest before and I've always wanted to. I'm pretty sure my hair is gonna be strawberried up into oblivion. Anyway, um, they've got strawberries, they've got music, they've got kid zones, they've got strawberries, they've got car shows, they've got vendor booths, and oh, by the way, they've got strawberries. <laughs> now, that same time frame, not to be confused, March 3rd through March 13th, it kicks off the Plant City Florida Strawberry Festival with concerts, shows, rides, food, and of course, strawberries. It's an amazing fun time. We've gone many, many, many times. Um, it only takes about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to get down to Plant City from Ocala. Uh, they have some amazing concerts. Uh, this year, They've got Boys to Men, they've got Terry Clark, Pam Tillis, and Susie Bogus, 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 I don't know. Sammy Hagar, Zach Williams, Lee Greenwood, uh, Jake Owen, and Nelly are some of them. That's not even all the concerts they have. Um, they've got a whole bunch of strawberry themed eating contests going on there. They've got magic shows, they've got racing pigs. Um, but I will tell you the secret to the Plant City festival. They have this huge, huge, huge area for, you know, uh, rides and stuff like huge, massive rides. So, um, you know, my husband and I were not at this point in our lives really big on the, the big, I mean, you know, big, massive Ferris wheels and, you know, all of the, the rides, but our kids love them. Um, you know, they just, they absolutely loved it every year. And so there are certain days where they give discounts. Like if you bring a Coca-Cola bottle or can, they'll give you like $5 off a bracelet. And the bracelet allows your teenagers or your kids or whatever to ride all day without having to worry about tickets. Now, if your kids aren't really of that age, like, you know, teenagers or whatever, if they're younger children, you can also do, it's basically for any of the rides. And they've got like rides for younger children in a different section. And honestly, it's a lot of fun going through that. I actually go on some of those rides. The bumper cars is my favorite. <laughs> so I'm cool with the kitty rides. I'm totally fine with those. Um, but yeah, some of the thrill rides and stuff. Yeah, I'm just, I'm over it. I've done that kind of stuff. I'm good. So just not really my thing at this point. But if you're wanting to save some money, check out the website and it'll have different um, discounts and stuff. And you know, you just bring in certain things and uh, that sponsor for that day or whatever um, allows for discounts. So that's kind of cool. So um, there's not only discounts to actually enter, but there's also discounts for, like I said, that wristband. Now, some of the concerts you pay for and some of them are included. So just check and see if there's like a concert, like if you really want to see like boys to men, well, make sure that you bring in the coupons or whatever that you're going for that day. And by coupon, I mean the Coke can or whatever is for that day. Uh, but you have to buy the concert tickets on some of them. I'm sure that Boys to Men, Men or Nelly or anything like that is going to be a separate charge. But go ahead and check on those. Um, general admission tickets really aren't that expensive. If you're just going in to walk around and watch some of the free shows and, and just have a good time that way, I think it's only like 10 bucks to get in. Uh, and there are some days where it's less expensive for seniors to get in. Uh, they get like a $2 off or something like that. So just check on that. I think that was on March 3rd. Anyway, there's a lot of really cool stuff. It's like every day from March 3rd to March 13th. So it's like an 11 day event. It's a really big deal. It's like the event for Plant City. 
Plant City, Florida is known for its strawberries. Absolutely known for it. They're absolutely amazing. They're, you know, you can go to You Pick Farms. There's just, they're definitely known for that. In fact, a lot of the strawberries you'll start seeing in the grocery stores, no matter where you are in the country, come from Plant City, Florida. So check when you go into, well, I don't know, Publix isn't everywhere, but whatever store you normally shop at, check and see and you'll actually see Plant City, Florida stamped on there. Um, and some of them are actually, you know, farms that we, we are very familiar with. So because of the Strawberry Festival. Now for me personally, this weekend, I am not going to be in Ocala. I am going to be at a Renaissance Fair for the first time ever. I'm a little nervous, but kind of excited as well. So there's a whole group of us going to Dade City for the Renaissance Festival. And it's supposed to be a really good time. Each weekend is a different theme, but it's it's going on for a couple months, actually. So we're really excited about that. I'm mostly excited about that. I've just never been to one before. So uh, my daughter is dressing up for it, but she basically dresses up every day for stuff like that. So um, whether she's going to a run fair or not, <laughs> Not a huge shock for that, uh, but she's actually talked me into dressing up for it. So I'm sure I will have plenty of videos for you guys and lots of pictures on that. Should be a really good time. Uh, I had hoped to go the next weekend because apparently they've got like a Highland Games kind of theme going on the next weekend, but um, but I'm happy with going this this Saturday. So it should be a really fun event. So, so I don't know about your area, what kind of fun stuff is going on in your area, but that's what's going on here in a um, in and around Ocala this weekend. Uh, let's see, home sales. Oh my goodness, you should see the reports that I pulled for you guys today. Because we are into 2022 and we've already gone through January, I was able to pull all of the January numbers for Marion County to see what the average sales for different types of houses in residence, I should say residence, um, and really kind of, it, it's kind of interesting. It really shows you what is popular in Ocala and what really isn't. Um, for example, first up, we've got condominiums. Okay, in the entire county of Marion County, in the month of January, there were only 13 condos sold. 13, that's it. Um, the average price is $146,498. So we don't have a lot of like super high-end condos going in Marion County. Um, but let's continue on. It really just kind of shows you what's popular, what's not popular, and what kind of area we have. So next up we have the farms. Farms here sold 16 of them for an average, an average price of $824,775. Excuse me, $824,775. I do, I can talk, I can math, I promise. Um, they actually have about 84 active listings, but 57 of those are over a million dollars. So we have some incredible, amazing farms here, especially horse farms. Um, it is basically what we're known for. We definitely tend to spread out. So <laughs> there are some farms that are definitely um, changing the average. Uh, in there. But yeah, there's some beautiful homes and beautiful farms that are uh, bought and sold in Ocala every single month. All right. Now, what about duplexes in the entire county of Marion County? In the month of January, there was one. <laughs> so one, one duplex and it sold for 202500 Just one. There is currently one available. It's a uh, hundred and twenty nine thousand. I don't know where that got that information, but there's some pending as well. But yeah, it's actually closed. There was one. So for everyone that keeps asking about duplexes, we're working on them. There's actually some being built. They're actually everything is being built like crazy right now. But um, yeah, we don't really have that many right now. And the ones we do have are probably older. We're talking like around the eighties. There was a lot of them that were built. So just hang tight. We're, we're building them as fast as we can and we'll, we'll have some available for you, but there's just really not that many right now. All right. What about manufactured home? Not to be confused with mobile homes, which is on the next page. So this is manufactured home. 
we had 18 sold throughout the county in January for an average sales price of $169,956. It's about $170,000. And that what's really misleading with that is um, it doesn't really show what the acreage is that goes with it. And that can really change the prices. The age of the home and also the acreage involved will really, really change that. I mean, what if it had like a big, you know, eight stall barn that went with it and it was four acres. Or, I mean, that's gonna completely change the price of maybe um, a manufactured home on a quarter acre. It's a huge difference and it's not really sharing that. We're just sharing averages. All right, now what about mobile homes? Mobile homes, uh, we had a total of 25 sold in January and the average price was going for $141,228. Um, I do believe that there were quite a few mobile homes that were sold, um, brand new construction, but honestly, even the brand new construction mobile homes are about eight months out. So you might want to get on those tiny homes or something. <laughs> now, single family residents. So these are our single family homes. These are our cookie cutter, um, two, three, and four bedroom homes. We sold 435, and I say we as in like as a county, um, 435 homes were sold. So obviously that is by far the more popular residence here in Marion County is, you know, not duplexes, not condos, not even mobile homes, not even close. It is single family homes. We don't want to live by anybody apparently. We really like our frame and concrete block homes. So 435, now get this though. The average price for these was still only $275,464. So we still have a pretty low average. If you compare that to the price of manufactured or mobile homes, it's really not that drastic of a difference. Uh, so definitely still time to purchase your single family home if that is what you're looking for. Now, what about townhouses? Again, we're not a thriving metropolis over here. We are obviously very much a farming community. Uh, very much with the horse community, um, but we do have townhomes. Uh, for for uh, the entire month of January, there were four townhomes sold, so not a whole lot. Um, so we do have them. Um, there are definitely some subdivisions being built right now where they're building more townhomes. Uh, there are some coming into uh, downtown Ocala as well, so that's exciting. Um, but up for sale in the month of January, four sold. What's the average price of those is $210,950. So again, not that drastically different from a single family home. So that's really what's most popular. And last we have villas. And I can honestly count how many communities have villas in them and it's not that many. So um, that was actually something that was pretty popular by comparison. Um, villas, we, there was 13 sold in the county. The average price was $179,500. So kind of interesting information. If you guys want this information, just, you know, send me an email real quick and I will send this over to you. So if you really want to check, you know, what about two bedroom, what about three bedroom, four bedroom, um, how many days on market, stuff like that. This is all information that I was able to pull from the Marion County um, Association of Realtors. So it's Ocala, Marion County Association of Realtors. And uh, it's just a real quick report. So I can actually, if you email me, I can send you, send it to you as of that day. Um, but it's just a, a trend indicator. So if you want that information, I'll be happy to send it over to you. Now, real quick, I'm going to just talk about today's numbers because that is a great way to tell you or show you really um, how the market is changing just doing that market watch each week. So if you really watch all my videos on Mondays, I'm sorry, that's pretty much what, how you gotta do it. But <laughs> if you do it week by week, you can kind of see how the houses, um, how many houses are available, how many are getting sold. And if you look week over week, you can really see what the market is doing, which is why I get into this every week, even though it's probably repetitious for you. But um, for me, I, I enjoy it. I go and look at it almost every single morning anyway. So um, even throughout the day, I'll watch it. 
So for Marion County, today we have 57 new listings. And again, that is not single family homes. That is commercial, that is rental, that is vacant land, that is everything all together, farms, all of it. 57 listings hit the market, which doesn't sound too bad when, until you consider the size of our county, which is massive. Um, as far as price increases, we had 15 price decreases 16. So basically kind of a break even there. <laughs> it's like some people price too high, some people price too low. Um, sold, we had 36 actually closed. Uh, pending, we had 69 pending. Okay, so we've got 69 houses came off the market today and 57 came on the market. You can tell which direction we're going. So we also had three that were temporarily off the market, one withdrawn and three canceled, um, and two expired, goodness. Uh, we had 10 leased. Right now, out of whew, 15, 16, seven, I don't know how many years, anyway, <laughs> out of all my years in property management, February is the month, the busy, 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 busy month for leasing. Uh, what happens is, we have a lot of tenants that have used in the past their, um, their tax returns to move, which is great, wonderful. Uh, they go ahead and move into our properties, but that also means that their lease comes up at the end of January. So that means that they're more likely to move in the month of February. But what happens also is we also have all of those people that want a house in the month of February because they are maybe in a smaller property or, you know, in a different side of town and they want to, you know, get closer to work or to schools or whatever. So they decide to move. Um, maybe they're even downsizing, but they use that tax return money for their security deposit, their first month's rent, their last month's rent, whatever, their pet fees, whatever they, or their moving trucks or whatever. So they use that money to go ahead and, and facilitate the move. So February is crazy. We have so many people moving out and so many people moving in and it's just, it's a wild ride. And this month, it just seems like it's just been a little bit wilder than usual. The last couple of years have been pretty quiet. We didn't have a lot of move outs and move ins and mayhem. So this month, this year, it really seems to be normal. And so the mayhem is kind of normal, but it is still mayhem. <laughs> So we have a lot of properties that are hitting the market on a daily basis. So please, please, please check and see online on our website. If you go to greatexpectationsrealty.com and right there in the center, it's if you're wanting to sell your house, if you're wanting to buy a house, or if you're looking to rent a home, you can go ahead and click that rental tab right there, right in the middle of the screen. And that will take you to all of our rental listings and it'll have pictures, and it'll have details, it'll have prices, it'll have, if you wanna set up a showing, uh, it'll allow you straight access to the leasing agent or property manager that will be showing you the property, and it will even allow you to fill out an application online. So it's just all right there for you, absolutely everything. So yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call. Uh, our phone number here is 352-817-9160 or you can go ahead and like I said, check out our website. It's got all of our agents up there and you can easily click on any of them and get started. Um, if you want to chat with me privately, you can definitely send me an email or if you wanna go ahead and set up a, an appointment with me, I actually have my Calendly link right on there. And what that it does is if you click the link, it will instantly set up an appointment for you uh, for whenever it's convenient for you and me. It has access to my uh, Google Calendar and it will actually set it up through Zoom or you can actually just tell it, no, I'd rather have an in-person appointment and just come on over to the office and we'll just sit and have some coffee. But it also blacks out my appointments so that I don't double book myself, which is something I sometimes get known for. <laughs> 
it's really helpful if you actually use that link. So, um, but yeah, if you want to come and hang out at the office, you're of course able to drop in anytime. But if you want to meet with me or one of my other agents specifically, definitely making an appointment is very helpful because in case we have something else that we're doing that day, we definitely have to go out riding around quite frequently uh, to see what's going on in the community and possibly be doing showings or whatever. Um, you know, you definitely want to to, I mean, if you're going to come in, you might as well like make sure you're going to meet with us. So anyway, uh, if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please let us know. I did want to remind you, I have a radio show now. It's probably why I'm messing around with the microphone so much, but, uh, we actually did, uh, start up a radio show here in Ocala on WOCA. And I am putting the recordings, uh, of that on our podcast. So if you want to hear it, and you don't necessarily, if you're not local, <laughs> you can actually go onto our podcast, which is on Spotify. Um, and I think it's on Oca uh, Andrea of Ocala, which is my TikTok handle. Um, but yeah, you can actually go in there and listen to these radio show broadcasts. It's uh, very intimidating, I will say. I am not in any way, shape, or form uh, trained for that at all. I am just a realtor, but it is a lot of fun and it's... Um, it's fun to try something new. I'm definitely one that will try something new at any time. So it's really having a great time with that. Uh, there's other episodes that are on the podcast as well. So you're of course welcome to listen to that and check it out. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really an exciting venture. So kind of excited to see how that turns out. Uh, hopefully we'll get uh, in touch with more of the locals here in Ocala because uh, we're quite popular online, but uh, some of the local people that we like to hang out with and, and get to know and stuff. Um, they're not as, um, I don't know, they're not online as much, I guess, because they're local. So, you know, why would you look for a realtor on YouTube? You know, it just kind of doesn't happen. So um, hopefully we'll be able to reach out to our neighbors through that avenue, but it's on Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. and it's on WOCA, The Source. It's 96.3 and it also has an AM, but I forgot what the AM channel is. Again, not a professional here, but it has been a lot of fun and I'm really thrilled with the opportunity. So feel free to catch it. I was extremely nervous the first one. Uh, the second one, I've kind of calmed down a little bit more myself. Um, hopefully by the next one, it'll actually be fairly good. <laughs> so we'll see. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I absolutely love how much support you guys give me. I really, really do appreciate it. I will continue doing this for as long as you guys want me to. Uh, and if this has been at all a help to you, or if you were entertained by it, or if you think somebody else will enjoy it or can get something out of it, please feel free to subscribe, but also share so that other, people's can, other people can enjoy it as well. You guys have a great night. Thanks again. Bye.